a wild day in the Lucas Oil AMA Pro Motocross Championship Round 10. The Rockstar Energy Drink National at the famous Sands of Moto X338 at Southwick, Massachusetts. Let's go to the 450 class first. Early leader in moto number one is Ryan Dungey. A rare great start for the defending series champ. He would check out early over his teammate Brett Metcalf. Metcalf under fire from Ryan Villapoto and Justin Barsha. Villapoto and Barsha move up to second and third, but then Barsha ran into bike problems and was out. Chad Reed also running into bike troubles. He's out of the moto. Villapoto was running second. He would actually close the gap on Dungey late in the race, but the Dungey would hold on to take the first moto victory over Villapoto and Metcalf. Moto number two, we've got mud, rain, and Ryan Dungey doesn't have a bike. They couldn't get it started. They had to work on it. The gate drops without him, and then finally the bike shows up. And Dungey races back onto the track, nearly a lap down, and he just never stopped digging from there. He would finish seventh, amazingly to salvage some championship points. Up front, Justin Barsha got the whole shot and never looked back. He's going to go on to win his first career 450 moto in only his fourth attempt. An amazing run. Villapoto had the early shot of the overall lead, but Brett Metcalf made the move on him and then passed Justin Brayton for good measure. And with three two scores, Metcalf is going to take his long-awaited first ever overall victory in the U.S. He's been trying for eight years. Congratulations to Metcalf. Villapoto gains one point on Dungy in the standings today. Chad Reed didn't finish either moto with bike problems. On to the 250 class. Early leader in Moto1 is Gareth Swanepoel on the DNA Shred Stick Star Racing Yamaha. He would succumb to Tyler Rattray, but then Rattray ran into some bike problems of his own with stalls. Swanepoel takes the lead. He's got Rattray and Dean Wilson right behind him, but then he pulls away from them and goes on to win his first ever Moto in the U.S., also the first ever Moto win for his team, and the first non-Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki Moto win of the year with Rattray and Wilson second and third. Moto number two, early leader is Alex Martin on the 1110 Mods Honda. He held it early, and Rattray made the move, put his head down, and he would go 2-1 to win the overall at Southway for the second straight year. Martin made a mistake, but eventually dropped to third behind Wilson. Wilson was running into some engine problems late in the game, but the bike held up, and he finished second to preserve his points lead. Martin, solid run for third in the moto, Swanepoel on the podium overall. And the women's class is back in action today. Jessica Patterson crashes out of Moto 1, and Ashley Fowler goes on to take the Moto win and further extend her points lead. Patterson bounces back for a Moto 2 victory, but Fowler is looking good for the championship. It's down to Dungey and Villapoto in the 450 class. Wilson and Fowler looking good in their divisions. The next race coming up at Steel City next weekend, just outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Go to AlliesSports.com for more information.